for another adventure. Get another foothold. It's also time to connect to the Dragon Age servers for, oh, several minutes at least. There it is. <laughs> All right, we want a new game. And now we have some choices to make. Oh, how I love my choices. Anyone who has played, this is Dragon Age Inquisition. Sorry to not introduce you there. Failing in my hostly duties, this is Dragon Age Inquisition. And anyone who has played Dragon Age Inquisition knows, perhaps, of Solus. And that, uh, if you are starting a new character, and you happen to pick a female elf, there is a special path you can go down with Solus. It does not end well. <laughs> but it also does. So I've tried to avoid that. Uh, for vague and nefarious reasons. Let's go ahead and do... Oh. You know what I've never done is a Kunari. Which would be sort of interesting. Let's see what we can figure out here. Our class options are rogue who dual wields, like a daggery situation, a rogue archer, we have a two-handed weapon warrior, a weapon and shield warrior, or a mage. That's gonna have to be mage. All right, and finally, difficulty setting. Uh, casual. I think casual is appropriate. These are my cards. So, let me see if I can figure out any of these words here. <laughs> Followers of the strict religious philosophy of the Kuhn. The Kunari appeared... Kunari, probably. The Kuhn? I don't know. The Kunari appeared like a tidal wave to the north of Thedas 300 years ago. You are Tal Vashoth, a Kunari who has rejected the Kuhn never even lived in Kunari lands. You have earned a place within the Valokas mercenary company as its mage, possessing abilities that would have made you a pet slave among your own people, ignoring the fearful looks you receive from those around you. Most recently, the company was sent to the Chantry Conclave, hired swords meant to keep the peace, a task that has gone horribly wrong. All right, do you want to import a custom world state? Dragon Age Inquisition is like the third, I want to say? Fourth, perhaps? Dragon Age game, and so your choices that you made in previous games, you can upload them to a website, dragonagekeep.com, and then you can carry them forward. I, I don't have any past world states I necessarily need to pull forward, so let's go no. And then I'll, I'll get the default world state, it sounds like. That's fine. <laughs> Welcome all to the chat. It seems like you've already made sh your decision. <laughs> I'm so sorry if I was skipping through that too quickly. I didn't even consult you all. So I'm hoping to get perhaps past the first little part here. There's a little setup sequence to get you to Haven, I believe it's called. And perhaps we can get to there. We'll see how it goes. Inquisition is third. Thank you. It's Dragon Age Origins, Dragon Age 2, and this. And there may there may be a Dragon Age Four coming down the uh, the line here next gen. 
All right, we're ready for customization. Let's pick a base head to work off of. I would like a, a vaguely uh, elfy experience, sort of a, a Kate Blanchett thing, is is what I have in my mind. I'm trying to f see if perhaps. That's a lot of cheekbones. Let's go here. Name your character. Hera is, uh, shockingly appropriate. Let's see. What a rather intimidating Kunari mage. Go by. Hi, I'm... I'm... Steven. Nope, that, that doesn't sound quite right. Let's try it again. Ah, oh, you can't see my keyboard. I'm sorry. I'm clicking around, making all sorts of weird attempts at it. Give me a moment. I apologize. For some reason, I thought there was a randomize button here, but I'm not seeing it. Oh, well. Not think of a good name. I'm trying to just think of something short and punchy. Are there any suggestions from the chat while I'm spinning my wheels wildly? While I'm buffering? The only thing I'm thinking at the moment is Ophelia, but that doesn't really say Kunari to me. I'm trying to pick something with a bit of fanciness to it, but not not overboard. Aurora Vittoria, that's lovely. seeing all these suggestions. Mary, Aslaka, Electra, Locke. That's a good one. Yeah. Mary and Locke. <laughs> I've got to pick something. I'm so sorry to keep you waiting here. It's Stephen. We're back to Stephen. All right. We're making a decision. It's Miresh. However, I did... Ah, uh, ah. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> I think I just skipped right past the, the actual customization. That was incredibly foolish. I'm sorry. Give me one second. I'm going to have to restart that after this cutscene here. Goodness me. After all that waiting, I've, I've hit the wrong button. Getting a little sneak peek here. The situation we find ourselves in. Cover your eyes from the situation we find ourselves in. It's horrifying. All right, cutscene. Any time now. That's enough spoilers from you. I could just quit out of the game entirely, but yeah. I'm hoping this will give us a chance.
That's what I get for letting my thumb lead us. Lead us into temptation. No. No. Stop spoiling. I might have to back out of the game entirely. <laughs> I'm awful sorry. One second here. Oh, hey, everybody. So there's this game called Dragon Age. Let's start from the beginning. Goodness me. Forget that last 11 minutes. We start now. We start here. <laughs> All right, I'll quickly try to get us back to that position. One moment. If I had a nickel for every time I've done that with this character, uh, customizer, I'd have about 15 cents, let me tell you. Oh, hey guys, I'm just coming online for the first time. Nope, I haven't been here for the last 12 minutes, no. That's... that was someone else. Okay, new game again. All right, back to Kunari. Mage. Casual. Pretend I'm reading that again. It'll be great. Default world. Back to the green fog. This is a good sign. Though not for our hero. Alright, so... And nothing wrong with the default head, of course, but I would like to actually hit X instead of A. Here we are. Alright, let's start with General... Uh, general face shape. I do want her to have just a bit of that statuesque, angular quality. But perhaps not this much statuesque, angular quality. I'm trying to decide between here and, uh, here. I think it's here. All right. I do like something about that subdued sort of grayer skin. This is bringing back, uh... Oh, what's the word? Fragments of, uh, early drifting. I have never tried a Kunari. I know that that's a bit of a, more of a politically complicated character background to choose, and that'll be kind of interesting. More people, like, scared of you walking around. Usually I'm like an elf or a human or something that people have become used to through over, uh... Exposure? <laughs> Let's check complexion here. Alright, nice. Give her some real features. 
A little bit of texture in the skin. I would like her to have the uh, appearance of wisdom, if that's possible. I would love to possess wisdom flat out, but if uh, failing that, the appearance of wisdom, that'd be great. And something very, very vibrant for the eye color would be ideal. Though these look like fairly natural eye colors. Let's see what we've got. It's not bad. That's not bad. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's do that. Number three. The most vibrant yellow I can find. That's interesting to me. All right, horns instead of hair. Let's start from the beginning. I have a nice tight bun. Go a little rebellious, having removed our horns, apparently. Take that, the system. Or we can lean into it, gild our horns with decoration. I'm learning about the culture already. There is something interesting to me about the, the rebellious-seeming path of grinding down your horns, but that also seems sad, like you you were perhaps forced to do it to fit in and appear normal, and I should be proud of my horns. How dare you? This I like. Sort of splitting the middle. I don't take uh, any necessary pride in my horns, but I, I still have them. Let's try this. Hair color. What are our options? I guess I will be looking at it from the back most often. The hair, that is. Okay. Not seeing like a deep, rich brown. There's a couple of these sorts of browns that are fairly natural. We could go there and just have it not be a big deal. Or we could go with something gray or like this. I'm not exactly sure. I like that, actually. Just a hint of lighter gray. Offset it a bit. Alright, let's check voice. Test voice. As long as the job gets done, I don't care about the rest. I just hope I can help. I just hope I can help. All right, so sort of no accent, fairly generic, or I just hope I can. Help. We're Emily Blunting. You leave me no choice. As long as the job gets done, I don't care about the rest. There's sort of an interesting quality to that, an, an intimidating character that everyone would be like, ooh, who's that? Who speaks very refined is is interesting to me, but this does seem to, to suit her exactly. better. I just hope I can help. Yeah, that really seems very natural. I'm going there. Okay. So I think I can back out. I'm very worried about my button presses now, but let's let's try this. Back, back. Alright. There's our general things. We don't need to do much to change this. However, I would like to mess with her nose just slightly. It's really none of my business, but Let's try to give my characters a more, uh, worried brow. That seems to help later. When things get complicated, they're already prepared with the worried brow. It's good. 
Alright, let me see what the options are for forehead here as well. That's the one that's so bouncy for some reason. Alright, doesn't need to be fantastically wide. We're not trying to land a biplane here. Let's calm it down. Alright. Nope. I didn't accept. Heh. <laughs> Somewhere around there. Alright, where's that, uh... Ear position, ear size. I kind of like how our ears are now. I like that plateau effect at the top. Kind of check in cheek shape briefly. Just to see if we can give her any more of a blanchette. A little bit back. Alright. Now let's try to find nose. I guess we can jump in eyes first. Eye shape, sure. Let's take a look. Suspicious. Hmm. I'd like her to have very decisive, clear eyes. She's not trying to get anything past you. She's trying to help you at face value. And that seems to be about here. We'll go just a touch... touch larger if it lets us. Just give her a slight strangeness without seeming too, uh... bug-eyed. Eyebrow style. Here we are. Let's go to the beginning. No eyebrows at the beginning. This is how we all started. How about some hungry eyes? Ooh, I don't know where the option for that is, but yes. Alright, what kind of eyebrows would a mage still have after several years of practicing fire spells? Hmm... them to be fairly normal, like we are in medieval times, though that's not the way of saying it. So I don't want to be over-tweezed, necessarily, but... Looks like kind of around there is the most natural-seeming option to me. Though maybe I'm not up to date on my natural brows. Let's try there. I guess that's as low as they can go. So I probably want to leave it there for now. Eyelash style. It's very hard to see, but let's take a look. For any future close-ups. Yeah. All right. Outer iris, inner iris. This is nice. So there are default eye colors, but you can also bifurcate them and do a little color variance. I want on the outer edge a touch of uh, more orange than yellow would be my hope. Yeah, somewhere around there. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, 
Okay, what else do we have here? Nose we're finally on to. Make a nose shape. That's hard to pass up. I also like the idea of her having a more... Oh, you know. Bar fight nose. That seems strangely appropriate. Let me see if I can fix this one real quick. I get about there for some reason. Down. Yes, all right. The silhouette is striking me well. <laughs> I see now that I am, in fact, picking my nose in front of all of you. What a what a fantastic joke that is. I am even now continuing to pick my nose. that take? Darn it. I think I just hit the wrong button, but maybe I didn't. Now I can't tell. <laughs> can't tell if my changes actually went through. I don't feel like it was that pointy a second ago is what's weird about it. But maybe it was, and, and I'm losing my mind. Yeah, it's still in the same position, but it just looks different now. I'm not sure what I changed. Broken nose. That's always a good character creation option. Alright, it looks a little off now, but we'll see. What are we on to? Mouth and jaw. That's looking okay, but maybe I can square it off just a touch. I actually really like that mouth shape for now. We'll leave it. With this fine position... I want to take it down just a touch. All right. Not sure what quality I want her jaw to have. You know, you can make her see more commanding, or or more magely. You know, I guess I should lean into that mage quality. I have just a bit of differentiation, though. Let's say about there. Jowls? Oh, yes, please. All right, chin. To have a little bit of space there. Let's do shape first, actually. Let me see if I can 
want this to be more out. There we go. That's the angle I'm looking for. Not quite that much. That's a little too far. But we don't want to go wildly underbite either. It's important. Alright, somewhere in there. And what is the other axis changing? Alright, so that's lip. This is just chin tip angle. Okay. Let's try around there. I think that should be fine for now. Let's move ahead. Scars! She does seem to have something on her, just under her eye here already. Let's uh, take the intensity up so we can see them better. Come on now, there we go. Okay, that gets rid of the intensity, I guess. So it must be at full. So we have something under the eye, something on the chin, multiples. Above the eye, above the lips, chin again. That's an interesting one along the cheek there, too. Again, she's a mage. She would be around uh, dangerous and explosive elements on the reg. That's really interesting, going full, full scar. Maybe not quite that much, though. can't tell if that's adding one to her head up there. I guess that's just part of her horns. I like that one above the uh, right eye now, or across the right eye. But I also really like this, this cheek scar. I think I might go there. That just gives her a little something. I think full intensity is fine. And let's see if we want to move these. That moves both the eye and the cheek. And that makes it disappear. All right. So we do want both visible. Let's do that. All right, finally, makeup. Eye shadow color. I think it's clear we're going smoky eyes with it. Just a bit, though. Shadow intensity. There's my... There's the correct one. Alright, I'm just going to go full black and then fix it. Fix it in the intensity. I don't want to look like a raccoon, but I do want it to be noticeable. Right in there. Hungry eyes. Have we made it? Under eye color. Let's again say... Ah, oh, there's no under eye color intensity, just under brow intensity. Alright. 
I'm suffering from a little underbrow intensity right now, let me tell you. It looks to be just the inside edge, effectively. I cannot rotate the camera while I'm selecting. That's that's my problem. Let's just do that for now. Let's see if I can get this to show up. I can't seem to. I really can't tell what that's changing under my brows. It's like the subtlest little difference with my skin tone, I guess. Alright, eyelash color... Just eyelash colored. That's that's good. Just the color of eyelashes should do me fine. Okay, do I have any blush now? I can't really tell, but I must have just a touch. I don't think they would necessarily blush red with this uh, skin tone. That does give her a little more of a interesting variance to her skin. I'm not sure if we want to go that route. Let's keep it pretty dark. Just have it a bit of difference there. I like that. All right, lip color. We're getting there. Thank you for bearing with me. Let's switch this up. Maybe not fully intense, maybe one or two back. Let's try two back. She should have just a tinge of regality, in my opinion. As though she's been eating some grape Jolly Ranchers. Hmm. Those are some good Jolly Ranchers. Somewhere around there. Alright, lip liner, I think we're fine. Lip shine. Hmm? Well, those are some shiny lips. I think she necessarily needs to be drooling. I, I, I think it's fine. But we'll give her a touch of lip shine, just to see if that helps. Alright. It's a very, very uh, prominent nose, but we're, we're running with it. I think it'll work out. Except changes seems to be my next logical bet. Let's go for it. And we're back to here. Okay, so sorry for all of that. Now we're finally on. 40 minutes into the session and we're playing a game. Thank you for your patience. It's always so much more impactful to go through one of these when you've spent a little time creating your own person from your brain meats. I love character creation. My apologies to any arachnophobes for the double duty here. So I was seemingly in some green fog dimension, and I got 
assistance away from the spiders by a glowing, saintly figure, which seems to have propelled me back to the real world where I was found by these guardsmen, and dragged off to unknown ends. There also seems to be something wrong with me. I am glowing green. At times. The detail of their armors and the other characters you interact with and everything is so lovingly made in this. It's a beautiful world. Just enough lip shine, and just enough gothic eye makeup. I think we nailed it. Tell me why we shouldn't kill you now. The conclave is destroyed. Everyone who attended is dead, except for you. I brought snacks. Is that enough of a reason not to kill me? Uh. So the other thing you have to decide, as well as character creation, you need to. Be thinking about character creation. What is she like? What is she going to respond like to these situations? I imagine her as a very stoic type. That's how she's dealt with... Oh, the massive amount of racism I'm sure she's had to uh, overcome in her life. It's that she's probably just not... Uh, very easy to read, so, you know, you could remain silent, you could also respond more commandingly, like, I'm ahead of you, oh, you think I did it. I think that's, that's feeling right to me, oh, you think I did it. You think I'm responsible. Explain this. Okay, uh, give me a second. Can't. What do you mean you can't? I don't know what that is. Or how it got there. You're lying! We need her, Cassandra. So now you can be like, I'm regretful of all those people. Stained glass tears. You can be like, mm, it's time for me to leave. You can be more stoic. I think she's gonna go stoic. What now? So what happens now? Do you remember what happened? How this began. I remember running. Things were chasing me, and then... A woman. I got plastic so surgery for about 30 minutes, and then... Reached out to me. But then... Oh. Go to the forward camp, Liliana. I will take her to the rift. What did happen? It will be easier to show you. Now we get a peek at her out in the natural light. That's always an important part of did you mess up your character's face? It's, oh, she looks great in the darkness and the cool flickering lanterns. Oh, goodness, look at that nose out here. That's usually a part of it. She holds up okay. It's a massive rift into the world of demons that grows larger with each passing hour. It's not the only such rift, just the largest. All were caused by the explosion at the Conclave. An explosion can do that? This one did. Unless we act, the breach may grow until it swallows the world. We can't have that. I appear to be connected to it through this little green glow of mine. The mark spreads, and it is killing you. It may be the key to stopping this, but there isn't much time. So, sometimes they give you this investigate option, which means one of these choices will propel you forwards, but if you want more information about the lore or the background of a quest or a character, you can investigate. 
Do you still think I'm guilty? You still think I did this? To myself? Not intentionally. Something clearly went wrong. And if I'm not responsible? Someone is. And you are our only suspect. You wish to prove your innocence? This is the only way. So investigating is also a great way to procrastinate so you don't have to make a decision. You can just keep it, ah, I don't want to choose. I'm going to, yeah. You say it may be the key. To doing what? Closing the breach. Whether that's possible is something we shall discover shortly. It is our only chance, however. And yours. So now is another choice where you get to pick how she's going to act going forward. Like, will helping them save me? Like, are you going to let me go if I help? Or you could just say, if I can help, I will, yeah. And that's what she'll, she would say. I understand. Then I'll do what I can. See that Cassandra approves down there. Everyone has their different likes and dislikes in your behavior. Just like the real world. Isn't that nice? Stop poking me! Cassandra disapproves! They have decided your guilt. They need it. The people of Haven mourn our most holy, divine Justinia, head of the Chantry. The Conclave was hers. It was a chance for peace between mages and Templars. She brought them I have together. played this before, yeah. Now they are dead. Though never as a mage, I believe I was an archer and then a sword and shield guy. Think beyond ourselves, as she did. Until the breach is sealed. And I love these gauntlets on my starter armor. Bracers, I guess? Come. It is not far. Where are you taking me? Your mark must be tested on something smaller. I love how tall she is. That's awesome. All right. So this is actually the game. For the first time, I am in control. And Cassandra and I are going to get off to the rift here. Open the gate. Let's go, we Cassandra. Just towering over all the guardsmen. Brimming with magical ability, barely tapped. Get back in there and rest. We'll take it from here. It's quite the, uh, quite the sight to see over the horizon. Can I loot you? Nope. Too greedy. They taught me a lesson. My hand! Pulses are coming faster now. It means the baby's almost here. The the grows, Wait, what? The appear, the What's gonna come out of my hand? How did I survive the blast? They said you stepped out of a rift, then fell unconscious. They say a woman was in the rift behind you. No one knows who she was. Everything farther in the valley was laid waste. Including the Temple of Sacred Ashes. I suppose you'll see soon enough. Bridge is out. If anyone's curious. And one of the meteors is attacking us Stay with dead me. folks. That's a good sign. Well, hey there. Alright, right trigger to attack. It looks like I have some sort of electrical spell in X. Let's try that. I guess I have to follow their tutorial first. Sorry, right trigger to attack. Alright, so my staff has a basic projectile to it. There's my electrical attack. So doing basic attacks charges up my other attacks, and then they also have individual timers. Good, good. It's over. Drop your weapon. 
Now. Ah, yes. The old... All right, now you've defended your stel yourself. Your stealth? Because you have a staff? I don't know. But now I need you to be my prisoner again. It's like, okay. You can beg for it. You can say, fine. <laughs> That's a nice mage option. It looks like some of the dialogue is specific to the class you pick. And if you're a mage, you can say, you know, I'm still dangerous without this, right? <laughs> Cassandra probably wouldn't like that too much. How about you need to trust me? You're going to lead me through a demon infested Cassandra valley. disapproves. Me. Give me one reason to trust you. Because my I just life helped. is on the line. <sighs> you're right. Even though I disapprove, you're right. Off, but you should have one. I cannot protect you. Thank you. That's very generous. I should remember you agreed to come willingly. All right, so now we're outfit a little better. Maker knows what we will face. Where are all your soldiers? More meteors coming in. And now we can loot. We are on our own for now. All right, so everything down in the circle menu down there must be one of those abilities. Yeah, Consume time. mana, etc., etc. We flank them, we may gain the advantage. Pick up a little gold first. That's helpful. Oh yeah, lichen mage. All right, anybody else to loot? No. Then on we go. Up on the hill. It attacks from a distance. Not for long. So far, so good. I guess. I don't know how it works exactly when you're a floating green torso. Dead? Again? Is it? We're getting close to the rift. You can hear the fighting. Who's fighting? You'll see soon. We must help them. All right, help is on the way. Quickly, before more come through. An old friend from the original games. And a new friend with no hair. What did you do? It is yours. You mean the mark? You mean this. Whatever magic opened the breach in the sky also placed that mark upon your hand. I theorized the mark might be able to close the rifts that have opened in the breach's wake. And it seems I was correct. 
Meaning it could also close the breach itself. Possibly. It seems you hold the key to our salvation. Good to know. Here I thought we'd be ass deep in demons forever. Varric is a, a well of wit and wisdom. Storyteller, and occasionally unwelcome tag along. Always welcome. Pleased to meet you. Though it's also very important to mention Bianca whenever possible. Nice crossbow. But we'll go pleased to meet you. It's good to meet you, Varric. You may reconsider that stance in time. <laughs> oh, I'm sure we'll become great friends in the valley, Chuckles. Absolutely not. Your help is appreciated, Varric, but... Have you been in the valley lately, Seeker? Your soldiers aren't in control anymore. You need me. Ugh. My name is Solus, if there are to be introductions. I am pleased to see you still live. He means... There are to be. I kept that mark from killing you while you slept. Thank you. It's very nice. Then I owe you my thanks. Thank me if we manage to close the breach without killing you in the process. Cassandra, you should know. The magic involved here is unlike any I have seen. Your prisoner is a mage, but I find it difficult to imagine any mage having such power. Understood. We must get to the forward camp quickly. Well... Bianca's excited. Solus, as you may have noticed, startlingly difficult not to fall in love with. Must move quickly. <sighs> That'll come back to haunt you. Oh boy. So half, I would say, 60% even, of the glorious uh, goodness of this game is in your party's interactions with each other depending on who you choose and who goes where and how they feel about you at that time there are so many jokes and lovely bits of dialogue between all the different options of party member you have you can also like control other party members directly if you need hey, Varric get up on the ridge and flank them with Bianca me now, or if you just want to like check out Solus you just put him up against the wall and just mm, check him out Thanks, game. All right, you can enter tactical camera mode, which is very cool. Makes it more of like an isometric old style game. Use left stick to scan the battlefield, right stick to cycle through targets, give orders with A, all right. So it's just kind of cool to see everything from this perspective. But not necessary to play that way if you don't want to. I need to get something that pushes people away from me as a mage. Seems to be a high priority. A little force push. A little these aren't the droids you're looking for. We'll be on our way. This house is actively on fire. Doesn't seem to be anything I can do about that. Besides loot the place. And dead end. This is where we die. We're trapped in here now. Varric, it was nice to meet you. That's a dead end, but let me just run down there and see if there's anything to grab. Loot, loot, loot. No, no, no. Ah, 
completely missed him. There we go. Loving these mage powers. I can't wait to see what else they can get. Alright. A little more money. Or an amulet, at least. And some iron. Interesting. That's not like an inventory item, it's a resource item. Some spirit essence. Thank you. Alright, now back to the ridge. Kunari and Kirkwall. A whole boatload of them. They were your typical cheerless sort, then they tried to take over the city and kill everyone. But I'm guessing you don't actually follow the cune, do you? You're Talvashoth. So you can also sometimes respond on the fly to dialogue. That's very perceptive of you, Varric. That's an excellent guess. Well, you haven't recited a single quote from the prophet Kuslu yet. So, unless you're trying to stay on the singer's good side, I'd say that's pretty telling. <laughs> I love your little hand motion there. It's like, ow! Jeez. Alright, back on the progress path. So, are you innocent? I don't remember what happened. That'll get you every time. Should have spun a story. That's what you would have done. It's more believable and less prone to result in premature execution. In one of the games, I forget, it must have been Dragon Age 2. It was all just a story Varric was telling. Under, like, interrogation by the Inquisition. That's how they kind of introduced the Inquisition chapter of this. So that's what he just said, that he, if he had been captured, he would have spun a story to get out of it, is a reference to that. I hope Liliana made it through all this. She's resourceful, Seeker. We will see for ourselves at the forward camp. We're almost there. Almost a forward camp. We must seal it! Quickly! They keep coming! Help us! So these rifts you have to, like, work at. Remove the guys, wear them down. Remove the other guys, wear them down. It's a good time. All right, that's our first level up. Let's check it now here. Character record, all right. So she has four categories of magely uh, ability. Storm, Inferno, Winter, and Spirit. Spirit is sure sounding interesting. Let's get a closer look. Each ability tree contains active abilities, upgrades, and passive abilities. Active abilities are diamond-shaped and can be mapped to your hotbar. Upgrades are attached to those to make them stronger. Passive abilities are circular, permanent boosts that are always active. I do love me some passive abilities. I'm one of those people. I don't want to have to map it to a hotbar and remember to use it. Ugh. Passive permanent bonuses, yes please. <laughs> but I would have to get barrier first to unlock anything down the spirit path. So it looks like, you know, shielding, this is maybe healing, dispel other people's spells, revive people who are downed. So this is very much like a support path. That's not necessarily the person she is. She's more of a, let's set your throat on fire. 
Though I do love storm abilities, and she already has the lightning equipped. I wonder if we can just upgrade that directly. Can get it to surge an additional four meters with an additional two target hits. There's an energy barrage that's like another ability we could uh, assign, and then, you know, you can do them off time from each other. So while one is cooling down, you can use the other one. Would be nice to have. However, I'm just going to upgrade this, I think, for now. That, that seems appropriate. Be a more powerful Emperor Palpatine. All right, level two. Right away, oh, let's get at it. We are clear for the moment. Well done. Oh, glad you lived. Whatever that thing on your hand is, it's useful. Supply cash. Let's see. grab some potions. Mm. Delicious. A morning star. Ah, here they come. You made it. Chancellor Roderick, this is... I know who she is. As Grand Chancellor of the Chantry, I hereby order you to take this criminal to Valroyo to face execution. Order me? You are a glorified clerk, a bureaucrat. And you are a thug, but a thug who supposedly serves the Chantry. We serve the most holy, Chancellor, as you well know. Justinia is dead! We must elect a replacement and obey her orders on the matter. All right. What about the, the breach? Closing the breach, the more pressing issue? You brought this Solus slightly fight. approves. That's pretty much Order where he lives. Our position here is hopeless. We can stop this before it's too late. How? You won't survive long enough to reach the temple, even with all your soldiers. We must. Oh, well, I the guess we'll just give up and die it. then. Is that your plan? It's not the safest. Our forces can charge as a distraction while we go through the mountains. We lost contact with an entire squad on that path. It's too risky. Listen to me. Abandon this now. Before more lives are lost. Nope, don't think we will. I think we're gonna keep going. How do you think we should proceed? I like the mountain path plan. Fast but indirect. Soldiers will act as distraction elsewhere. The problem will be addressed sooner, but there may be casualties. If you charge directly, it's a careful, sustained assault. The soldiers will stand with you to ensure arrival. Scouts in the pass, however, may be lost. Let's go rescue those scouts. Use the mountain path. Work together. You all know what's at stake. Liliana, bring everyone left in the valley. Everyone. On your head be the consequences, Seeker. Yep. That's why we get to make the decisions and you're stuck back there looking at your map. In your warm, warm robes. Great shot. Definitely not stolen from Lord of the Rings. No, what are you talking about? We've reached the mountain pass. All right. Nothing for it. Pardon me, Cassandra. The tunnel should be just ahead. The path to the temple lies just beyond it. What manner of tunnel is this? A mine? Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope it goes well at work there. We'll see you next time. Along with whatever is detained. We shall see soon enough.
Alright. And we're fighting. Gonna need a tank over here. Thank you, Cassandra. Mohawk guy's got a bit of health. It's the Mohawk, what does it? Hmm. Chili. Stiletto will come in handy for the big party later. Guess I can light torches too. I need to remember that as we go through places. Hello? I see your torso up there. I'd appreciate it if you're just gone by the time we come up the stairs. No, you're not going to oblige? All right, that's fair. Zip zap, there's a mohawk on your back. I find it to be much more insulting if I sing while I kill them. And we're free. Oh, sorry, we didn't make it in time. That cannot be all of them. So the others... Where's the rest of you? Our priority must be the breach. Unless we see it... Where are your legs? I'm leaving that to our Kunari friend here. Oh, yeah. Here comes trouble. My favorite. Sometimes if you're far enough from the uh, fight, you can disrupt the rift before you clear all the guys out, which helps a lot. And it goes into this, like, rupture state, and then there's another wave of guys, and then you can close it. Hate these guys, though, and their little through-the-ground grabby ability. What a shame. You are becoming quite proficient at this. Let's hope it works. Sorry, what was that? I, I was lost in your eyes. Thank the Maker you finally arrived, Lady Cassandra. I don't think we could have held out much longer. Thank our prisoner, Lieutenant. She insisted we come this way. The prisoner. Can we stop calling me that then? Then you. Yes. Glad we found you. It's worth saving you, if we could. Then you have my sincere gratitude. The way into the valley behind us is clear for the moment. Go while you still can. At once. Quickly, let's move. Officer Codpiece, good to see you. To be clear of demons as well. Let's hurry before that changes. All right, we saved our scouts, the, the ones that were left the the alive, <laughs> savables. 
Seemingly nothing else to grab. Headed down. Oh, nice. Rapid descent. Oh, <laughs> that's too rapid a descent. Not what I meant. So, but we live. Fade don't just accidentally happen, right? If enough magic is brought to bear, it is possible. But there are easier ways to make things explode. That is true. We will consider how this happened once the immediate danger is past. Getting close. Close to the danger zone. Hello and welcome. You did make it. Just in time. The Temple of Sacred Ashes. What's left of it? That is where you walked out of the faith. Oh. And our soldiers found you. They say a Some woman folks found a better fate than others. No one knows who she was. check just before we get into trouble here. I know at some point I picked up a fire acolyte staff or something. Acolyte fire staff. Is that better than what I currently have? I currently have an ice staff with 28, so sure. Let's go for it. And then I could, could probably destroy that. That might be a better... Way to get craftables out of it than just destroying it, I forget. We'll check. I'll also be right back here. One second. should also try to save it here before we get too much further. Let me jump back in there and look at armor momentarily, though. I'm using a 40 armor mercenary coat. That's probably fine. We'll worry about helmets later. So, save. New save game. And let's do this. It's a big one. It's a big rift. I'm not sure how much room I have in my hand. You're here. Thank the Maker. Liliana, have your men take up positions around the temple. This is your chance to end this. Are you ready? Well, sure. I'll try. I'll try. But I don't know if I can reach that, much less close it. No. This rift was the first, and it is the key. Seal it, and perhaps we seal the breach. Then let's find a way down, and be careful. Be careful, you said? All right. Now is the hour of our victory. Was that careful enough for you? Ah, they're biting. What's going on here? That was your voice. Most holy called out to you, but...
What's going on here? Run while you can! Hold them! We have an intruder. Slay the canary. You were there! Who attacked? And the Divine, is she? Was this vision true? What are we seeing? I don't remember. Echoes of what happened here. The Fade bleeds into this place. This rift is not sealed, but it is closed. Albeit temporarily. I believe that with the Mark, the rift can be opened. And then sealed properly and safely. However, opening the rift will likely attract attention from the other side. That means demons! Stand ready! Yep, that's what that means. She's right, you know. Alright. Hello, friend. No! Welcome to our world. <laughs> that laugh. I enjoyed it. So he's got some armor. Let's see if I can disrupt the rift. While he's distracted. Yeah, it takes him down. Good. Let's say he was immune to lightning. That's going to be a problem for me. Well, he's not fully immune to it. He's just immune to something. Still took about 22 damage. Eight off of that fire burst. Now I have these guys. Good. Good. Alright, so I probably need to disrupt the rift again. His armor down. It's about halfway. There they go. All right, one more. Disrupted. Down, boy. I beg of you. Really put some juice into it. Flex those fingies. Oh, that's better.
love this game. <laughs> it's amazing. Such a pleasure to be back in Thetis. Fingies successfully flexed. You got it. That's the way. Ah, civilian clothes. Oh, didn't sorry. Didn't mean, mean to startle you by lying quietly in here where you were expecting me. Uh, it's fine. I'll pick that up later. Don't worry about it. I only... I beg your forgiveness and your blessing. I am but a humble <laughs> servant. You are back in Haven, my lady. They say you saved us. The breach stopped growing, just like the mark on your hand. It's all anyone has talked about for the last three days. Then we're safe. Well, that seems like a lot to assume, but... But, yeah. So you're saying... They're happy with me? I'm only saying what I heard. I didn't mean anything by it. I'm certain Lady Cassandra would want to know you've wakened. She said, at once. And where is she? In the Chantry, with the Lord Chancellor, at once, she said. Oh, sure. I'll, I'll just wait here. Alone. That's fine. And I've changed. Okay, that was quick. And all she brought me was a little elf root in there. Special shipments. I think that must be where you can get, like, DLC items and stuff. It's like you finally passed the tutorial. You can get your DLC items. I think that was like a... I skipped right past it. I think there was a note about how Solus was taking care of you while you were passed out. I should be reading those more carefully. My apology. Let's see if we have any DLC items. Staff of the Dragon. Light Armor of the Dragon. Some different armor schematics. Antamsar Shokratar. Let's check that. Ooh, fancy. Painted armor. More northern stone bear armor. This is a traditional Kunari. Mage armor, I believe, the Shukratar. Ooh, light armor, the dragon, that's fancy. These are sort of high-level items that I got from DLC stuff, I guess. For the moment, let's go Shukratar, that sounds cool. I like the red. Let's see if there was a staff, too. Staff of the dragon, 37, I'll take it. All right. Now we're more officially Kunari. So we've made it to Haven. This is where I was hoping to get. We're at about 90 minutes, but let's keep it going just a bit longer to talk to Cassandra here. All right. Thank you, everyone, for coming. I will uh, dramatically walk past you so as not to have wasted your whole morning waiting for this. Yes, drink it in. All right, see you guys later. So this is our first little stronghold in the mountains here, Haven. That's her. She stopped the Where it all begins. This is the Chantry, I'm assuming. Find Cassandra inside. The Chantry wants nothing to do with us. That isn't Chancellor Roderick's decision, sister. Appears to be marking this door for us. She should be taken to 
Val Royo immediately. To be tried by whomever becomes divine. I do not believe she is guilty. Drop a few the eaves. Failed, seeker. The breach is still in the sky. For all you know, she intended. Well, I don't like this guy. This guy's Jane just bumming Earth. me out. I want to prepare oh, it's you again. The capital for trial. Disregard that and leave us. <laughs> I'm glad Cassandra's in charge. Line, the breach is stable, but it is still a threat. I will not ignore it. All right. I, I did what I could. I did everything I could to close the breach. It almost killed me. Yet you live. A convenient result in so far as you Oh, I'm sorry. Have a care, Chancellor. The breach is not the only threat we face. Someone Some great through the teeth the work there. Someone most holy did not accept. Have a care, have Chancellor. The others, or have allies who yet live. I am a suspect? You and yeah, many How does that others. feel? But not the prisoner. I heard the voices in the temple. The divine called to her for help. So her survival, that thing on her hand, all a coincidence. Providence. The Maker sent her to us in our darkest hour. Oh, hey now. I, I, no, let's, let's not. Are you sure? Thumbs up. The Dale Cooper response. Are you serious? Come on, let me out of here. I'm just going to say, are you sure? You really think your Maker would send someone like me? The Maker does as he wills. It is not for me to say. Even if that means a Kunari is his chosen? Humans are not the only people with an interest in the fate of the world. The breach Despite remains, how they act. And your mark is still our only hope of closing it. This is not for you to decide. You know what this is, Chancellor. A writ from the Divine, granting us the authority to act. As of this moment, I declare the Inquisition reborn. We will close Thunk. the breach, we it's will on. find those responsible, and we will restore order with or without your approval. Now go shave. This is the divine You're freaking directive. everyone out. Rebuild the Inquisition of old. Find those who will stand against the chaos. We aren't ready. We have no leader. No <laughs> Again, leader. I love how tall she is. Now, no Makes me so happy. But we have no choice. We must act now. With you at our side. I want to help. If you are truly I'm in. trying to restore order. That is the plan. Help us fix this before it's too late. Yes, ma'am. And that is likely the perfect place to stop. We'll see if there's another conversation here leaving before we get control again, but that's a great little introduction for now. I can't wait to be back here with you all. Have a little group going. I've been wanting to stream this for a while because I know that there's, there's rumors of the next one coming out. I make sure we're as caught up as we can be on this generation. And it could take a while. <laughs> it could take a few hours. And just a peek at the wider world that awaits us. One quick tap ought to do it. It's a very thin door. You still haven't shaved? Get out of here. Your little... Ah. Your shrubberies are... Alright, 
We're not just guardsmen anymore. It's time to inquisit. Fantastic. What a great intro that is. I am very, very excited. All right, we've got a new outfit again, apparently. They decided I was too shocking in my reds. Let's see what they gave me. Apprentice coat at 48. That's nice. It's not quite my 94 armored Chakratar. Let's go back. There we are. All right, now we're ready. I cannot wait to be back here with you. We'll have some some fun uh, starting off quests before it gets quite that exciting again, but that's the fun of it, a little bit of exploration. I cannot wait to be back in Thedas with you all. Looking forward to it. I don't believe I have any way to wave at you with my green fingies, but we'll figure it out. Thank you again. I'll be back here and in our other adventures, too. I'm sorry to start another one, but I'm also not. The more adventures, the merrier. So thank you for your patience and your understanding, and just for being yourself. I appreciate you. Hang in there. See you again soon, and bye for now.